rescue Otto, save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? discussing Minute 50 of Fallen Kingdom. Minute 50. The day before we get to that, we're going to head over to Jurassic-pedia.com for an article up here on the North Dock. Uh, the North Dock, unlike the East Dock, hasn't been seen in the films as of yet. Most of what we know about it comes from the uh, the Jurassic Park, the game, mm-hmm. Telltale game that came out uh, some time ago. Uh, I do recall the original Park brochure map had a North Dock on it as well. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and then if you sort of look towards the novel, uh, Dress Park novel, uh, the North Dock was sort of your your main cargo area, and that sort of thing where mm-hmm. the East Dock was uh, was more for uh, I think passages and supplies. So they mm-hmm. were using different docks. Obviously, different size ships could go into either either dock for different purposes. So, but yeah, most of the other up here is about uh, the North Docks. Uh, Inclusion in that in that game. I can't remember that. That must have been 2004 or something. 2004, 2005. When Jurassic Park the game came out, yeah. That was 2010, I want to say. Oh, that late. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And most of the stuff that happens there is is considered as um, soft cannon, so. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, and I reckon we discussed it last bit. We'll talk about the East Dock. I reckon. what we're looking at here with this doc and uh, what Wheatley's men are doing, this is uh, either a modified, or an updated version of the North Dock that we've seen before, that, that would have been in operation at Jurassic Park, or uh, the North Dock that they've built for the Jurassic World Park to be built. Uh, even though we don't really have a lot of big infrastructure here, so maybe maybe this dock wasn't uh, being used for building building Jurassic World uh, unless some of the big cranes and that were then taken down once construction was finished which is also possible as well it is possible yeah but yeah a fun little article here about uh, mm-hmm. about the game by Trinosaur TJ so head over to Jurassic-pedia for it and many more Franklin hey get that truck on you okay my dad not yet hey. Dave, we're in again to minute 50. Sure. All right, minute 50 of Paul Kingdom over his Owen crew running for the harbour and is with Owen hanging off the back of a Unimog. As we continue into minute 50, Franklin is the last to get up, telling himself that, uh, yeah, the boat's good. <laughs> and they're all three running down the mountain towards the harbour. Meanwhile, back on the dock, Wheatley's men are scrambling to get the get to the boat as lava bombs hit everywhere, except the boat, luckily. Uh, all <laughs> the men running towards it. We've got, it's a shame of this film, we've got so many mercenaries involved here, and you could probably, you could probably kill one of them. <laughs> We're not going to get any dino deaths on the island, but uh, it would have been interesting if uh, if we'd seen a lava bomb hit one. It'd, it'd sort of add the stakes to other crew that are still running towards the harbour and in the thick of, thick of all the lava bombs impacting the ground. Yeah, but uh, in all the in all the rush to get to the ship, they abandon the Unimog and decide it's uh, it's quicker to run to the ship than drive, which is true. <laughs> uh, aside from what Claire's going to do next minute, uh, as the jungle burns, Owen, Claire, and Franklin emerge from the smoke onto the abandoned dock area. Uh, it's Owen that yells to get that that truck, and uh, really, man, you you're forty yards from a, kicking a field goal, just run the rest of the way. <laughs> Well, it sort of looks closer here, and once they get in the Unimog, it, it sort of the distance seems to stretch a bit further as well. But yeah, you've run all this way to get to the dock. I'm sure you could have run the rest of the way to the to the ship itself. I don't know. I mean, they barely make it with the Unimog uh, railing on it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they may they make it literally by the skin of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lava bomb hits the fuel depot, creating them. 
pretty big explosion, and then we get another one impacting some drums beside Franklin, and the force knocks him sideways. I don't... I tried to think. I couldn't remember any of the previous films where we've had sort of a concussive blast like this where someone's been thrown off their feet, but um, it's a typical movie explosion here that... Normally, if an explosion happens close enough to you to propel you off your feet in the direction away mm-hmm. from the blast, and it's doing some serious damage to your, your body and brain, uh, which is why grenades aren't massive explosions like you see them in the movies. They're designed to be concussive uh, force or concussive blast to immobilize the enemy. And also throw some of that uh, grenade shrapnel yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. There's shrapnel involved as well. So, and then someone uh, with Franklin's build, well, I suppose it wouldn't really matter anyway, but yeah, being tossed aside like this, uh, you'd have, he probably wouldn't uh, get up with his witty one liner, uh, Am I Dead? <laughs> <laughs> but um, Owen helps him up and they, uh, they start running uh, towards the truck. Claire gets to the truck and uh, she's very lucky that someone must have just had parked it because uh the air tanks are full and uh it's able to let the brakes off which unimogs are very especially with an air system they always leak <laughs> they're not they're not a perfect truck but yeah she guns it driving towards the boat seemingly unaware that franklin and uh owen haven't climbed on board yet because she just gets in and starts <laughs> driving and uh, as the minute ends uh, every man for themselves yeah yep yeah. As it ends, uh, Owen has to climb onto the back of the Unimog and uh, reaches back to help uh, Franklin scamper, on, scamper onto the back of the Unimog as well. There's some there's some acceleration, there's some uh, driving here, which uh, Unimogs aren't norm- overly known for. We're going to get to some uh, uh, aeronautics that they're definitely not known for <laughs> next minute. But um, mm-hmm. before we get to that... You know, is there anybody familiar with a Unimog? No, they're kind of just beasts, kind of meant to move heavy things and be heavy themselves, not so much uh, race with. Yeah, they're, they're designed... <laughs> Especially against the volcano. <laughs> they're designed very well to go off-road and anywhere off-road, but slowly. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't checked the stats. We are going to talk about it in the Wikipedia, Unimog Wikipedia, next minute. Uh, the ones I used to drive anyway, you, know, you had a 10... 10 speed gearbox and it was forward and reverse so those 10 gears you could either go forward or backwards in those 10 gears as well so and normally you could start in fourth (laughs) easily and uh, that's just how much uh, gear reduction that's in them for for climbing and and that sort of stuff so and their their top speed as well is uh pretty (laughs) pretty low unless you uh, really rev me up but we're going to talk a lot more about that next minute. Uh, heading over to the novel briefly, uh, an approaching wildfire hits the fuel depot and making it explode, not a lava bomb. And it's that explosion that throws uh, Franklin off his feet, not uh, not another lava bomb hitting drums next to him. I was going to say, that would probably be more believable, actually. Just the, just the um, shaking of the ground, knocking you off balance and falling from the lava bomb hitting so closely. Yeah, know? well, especially when we've seen one hit the ground in front of a uh, <laughs> the running bar- uh There wasn't a barracks, it was, it was Allosaurus. Uh, which, which, oh, yeah, yeah it was. the gyrosphere. So we've already seen one hit mm-hmm. near that, and it caused that animal to, to get blown aside as well, so... But especially the force, like that fuel going up, she'd, it, you'd think that would have shockwaved him and sent him off his feet. More so than uh, the other lava bomb hitting hitting near him as well. But uh, Owen tries to help him up. Uh, Franklin says, I'm not going to make it. And uh, then Owen helps him up onto the back of the truck before Claire guns it. So in the novel, they actually get on the truck before (laughs) Claire hits the gas. So it makes a little bit more sense there. But uh, Dave, that's it for minute 50. How about we get out of here and we'll be back next week with another minute. Sounds good.